In this video, a 10-bit bar graph screen is interfaced to an Arduino Nano displaying two patents controlled by the user. The C++ code stored in the Arduino will also be explained in detail. Let's have a look at the components used in this project. Here we have a 10-bit bar graph display interfaced to an Arduino Nano through the digital pins 2 to 11. We also have two switches which are connected to pins 12 and 13. A 10K potentiometer is connected to analog pin A2. This potentiometer is used to control the level of the bar graph. Now let's demonstrate. We can increase and decrease the bar graph level through the potentiometer. In other words, increasing or decreasing the speed in which a pattern is sketched on the bar graph. Pressing the lower button gives this pattern. And pressing the upper button gives another pattern. Now let's increase the bar graph level and see the increase in the sketched patterns. Let's have a look at the C++ code used in this project. Let's start with the global variables. So these variables are associated with the potentiometer. This variable here uh, determines the value that will go into the uh, delay function. These variables here are associated with the two switches. This one dimensional array is used to assign the pin values to the 10 LEDs of the bar graph. In the setup function, we assign the pin modes of the digital pins. Here for the two switches, we assign the pin mode as input. And here for the 10 LEDs of the bar graph, using a for loop, we assign the pin mode as output. In the loop function, we first read the potentiometer value, which is a value between 0 and 1023. This value is then used to determine the delay function parameter. Next we monitor the two switches to see which one is pressed. If switch 1 is pressed then the first thing we do is we switch off all the LEDs of the bar graph then using this for loop, we sketch this pattern. And then we use another for loop to sketch another pattern. Now if switch 2 is pressed, first we switch off the bar graph LEDs. And then using these two for loops, we sketch another pattern. If no switch is pressed, then the potentiometer value is displayed on the bar graph. This is done by remapping the pot value from 1024 levels to only 10 levels using this statement here. This corresponds to the number of LEDs of the bar graph. Finally, this for loop is used to turn on or off the LEDs when the potentiometer is varied. This video has presented the interfacing of a bar graph to an Arduino Nano and the C++ code associated with the interface. One practical application would be to control the level of the bar graph through voice or music.